What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Matt Stingray. Thanks for checking in. So I didn't plan on making this video today. However, it is Valentine's Day 2020, and my wife got me a gift. And as you can tell, and you'll probably tell by the thumbnail, it is a Seiko. And what Seiko is it? It is, they put the sticker on upside down, it is a Seiko SSC 6 37, which is the Jimmy Johnson um, signature model. So he's, I'm not too big on NASCAR, but I live in Virginia. I've been to a couple of, of NASCAR races in my time. And he's a nine-time NASCAR champion. He drives for Lowe's. Uh, I'll roll a picture in. to compare the two, show you some of the design elements that they put into the watch, match his car. It's, it's really cool. I'm not a big fan of NASCAR, but it is a good looking watch. So, and she surprised me with this uh, gift for Valentine's Day. So this is the official unboxing of the Jimmy Johnson signature Seiko model. And so let's take a look. This is the box coming in. She got this from Costco and she paid $195. And you're going to see from the hang tag, that's a lot less. That's actually a lot less than what I looked online on uh, Amazon and Joma Shop. And they're all hovering right around $275 to $300 still. And this was $195. Now, I don't know if it's because there's a difference between some of those and this one, but we'll get into that. But let's open, open the box and take a look. And there it is. And I got to tell you, it is a good looking watch. It is, I mean, I am, I am really impressed. Um, I like all the colors the, the it's got these pops of color in it. It's a really nice looking watch. And she said, that's what kind of drew her eye to it too, was, was it was nice looking. So let's get out the box and get, comes in a nice little Cinco pillar get the watch off the pillow so this is just this is fresh out the box she she tricked me actually so I came home today I was wearing my Omega Seamaster at work and I came home was changing out of my work clothes and I normally what I normally do is I normally take the watch that I wore to work I take it off put it in the watch box and switch to something else I like all my watches to get at least a little bit of wrist time through the day and it depends on what activities I do and sometimes I'll just look in the box and say what am I feeling today and just grab whatever draws me, you know? So I, um, and normally if I'm doing something like if I'm going to go mow the lawn or if I'm cleaning something, I won't wear an Omega Seamaster to do that. I'll grab one of my cheaper beater watches and then, and wear that. So I open the watch box, take my Omega off to put it in and, I'm, and for a split second, I'm like, wait, something's not right here at my spot. Cause I'm, I'm really organized about where my watches go and they're all lined up in my, in their own little spot. And I said, uh, I was like, wait, something's not right here. So, and then it hit me. I'm like, Oh snap, there's a new watch in there. And it, that's how it was sitting. She already set the time. She already took the, the plastic off the front and back, but it's still on the bracelet and we're going to go ahead and peel all that stuff off. So you can get a look at it. So look at this guys, this is a really good looking watch. Now this is a chronograph. This has several different complications and I'm digging this bezel. Now on this, for the specs, they say that this bezel is stainless steel like the rest of the watch. I don't think it is. We'll, we'll, we'll talk about that in a minute. I think it's probably aluminum with the way. This looks anodized, no matter to me. I mean, it looks, it looks beautiful, but let's get this plastic off the bracelets. By the way, here's the hang tag. Oh, it is solar powered also. So this is what it comes with the hang tag. It's like a solar, no battery required. And that is a suggested retail. Now you can get them for a lot less, um, you know, and here's some of the specs right here, right off the bat. It's 100, water, 100 meters water resistance. It's a solar chronograph. So it is solar powered. It is a Japanese quartz movement. It's screw down case back. Luma Bright is on the hands and markers and it's in unidirectional rotating bezel. So let's see, let's get this off. I didn't bring, get all this plastic off right here. I'll have to get this clasp open. All right, yeah. So it's looking good. Look at this. 
real shiny. So let's go over some of the specs. This is the Seiko SSC 637 model. Okay, it has Hardlex crystal. It's a Japanese quartz movement. It is a little big at 44 and a half case diameter. Okay. It is 12 and a half millimeters thick case thickness. It's 20 millimeter lug to lug. It is made of stainless steel. Okay. It has the date complication at three o'clock. It has small seconds. It has chronograph complication with 1 20th of a seconds there and it's got 60 minutes on the chronograph. Now, this watch also has a couple other things. It also has a tachymeter and a timing bezel, which is kind of, kind of like a dive time bezel, which this isn't a dive watch. This is more of a racing inspired watch. Obviously, it's because it's the signature Jimmy Johnson model. It's got a 60-click unidirectional timing bezel. So it has, so let's let's check the chronograph. Top pusher operates the chronograph. As you can see, that's pretty cool. Uh, the 120th seconds just hammering away. Top one will stop it, start it up again. Stop it, stop it, stop it. See, start it, stop it, stop it. To clear it out. Press it, boom, everything goes back to zero. So you have 1 20th of a second there, which is in this kind of cool, you know, fluorescent green hand. You got the 60 minute timer down there in the same green hand. It's not, there's kind of a glare there coming through. It's not showing up perfectly on camera, but if you see the tachymeter and the numbers, okay, they're in that same green. They're almost coming across as yellow or something there. It's in the same green as the as the hands, though. I said small seconds. And if you guys don't know what a tachymeter is, this that is a device used, a complication used to, to measure distance or speed. You can measure several things with it. So basically, in a basic rundown is you hit, you hit, let's say you're measuring, you want to find out the speed that a race car is going around a track. So if it's a, a one mile track and you know that, as soon as the car starts out, you hit it. And when the chronograph hand gets to, when the car gets back around to the start again, you hit it again. Now you take where it's close to right there, in this case, looks like 300. It's probably like 290 or whatever, and you would, do a mathematic problem based on the distance. And I think it's like 3,600 seconds in a, in a hour or something like, and you, you do a math problem and you can figure out the speed that's going. You can also use this to measure distance. If you know a certain distance is like a kilometer. And so you can use it to measure distance and speed and several things. Let's Z, Z this out. So it is, I, the, the colors on this, Watch are very cool. I'll, I will get it outside and try to get a shot out in natural light because man, does it really pick up all the light and pop. And you'll be able to see these blue, this blue top ring on this on this uh, 1 20th of a second bezel really picks up light and pops. The whole inside, the, the blue, the hands, the, the fluorescent green hands really looks good. So now let's talk about the bracelet. All right. Well, let's look at the back of the watch actually first. So there's the Jimmy Johnson signature model. Let me try to yeah, zoom in there, see if it, there we go. It's a special edition Jimmy Johnson Seiko. This is actually the first Seiko I've ever owned. And I can see why people like these Seikos. Now, some of the negatives that I'm not too jazzed about. Obviously, if you watch the channel for any amount of time, not a big fan of mineral glass or mineral hardlex crystal. At the $270 to $450 suggested retail price for this, I I wouldn't, I would expect sapphire for that. Uh, but 
it's a good for for 195 i think it's definitely definitely uh, okay it has a press clasp with the dual see so it's got the the cheap pressed metal clasp it has looks like two micro adjustments that's it uh, it has hollow in links so that is a bang on that is a ding against it that's a negative is hollow in links it's got the cheaper press clasp and clamp, although it does uh, uh, and 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 uh bracelet and it uh it's got the two pushers to release it has the one of the things i noted right noticed right off the bat was i don't know if you can see it it doesn't you see my nail right there it doesn't fit as well i would expect them to fit that a little bit better it's kind of a lip there kind of an edge on this side and see this side it's not so at first i was like okay maybe that's a design feature but this one's almost flush and this one's just a little bit off but that's just some quality control on it that's that's kind of normal it has i don't know let me see if i can get in close enough it has screw down pins in the bracelet which i like that a lot the bracelet's not the greatest but it's okay it's not as thick as i like on some of my watches but it's real nice so i'm gonna get this fitted it's not fitted to my wrist but oh what are we rocking today on the rock the watch channel today i am rocking my tissot sea star and i did a review on this watch it hasn't posted yet i'm gonna post it um this was when you'll hear in the video this is probably the first quote unquote expensive watch i ever bought it was right around 500 dollars. and for me at the time when i got it that was an expensive watch so look for a review on that when it's coming really like this watch it doesn't get a lot of wrist time but today i am rocking it that's what we do on rock the watch channel we rock watches so yeah, all in all, it's a very nice watch. Um, I'm really, oh, bezel. I thought I said 60 clicks, similar to a dive time bezel, but you can just time certain things with it. Positive, very positive clicks. Lines up pretty good. <laughs> it's pretty good. All in all, I actually really like this watch. So let's get it on the wrist. Let's get the... Uh, the old sea star off here set it aside real quick and get this sucker on yeah like i said it's a little bit big because the bracelet is because i haven't i haven't uh haven't fit it to my wrist yet man look at that just some of the light it catches right here i'm gonna go outside and see if i can get that bezel's catching light that man that really is good looking so here it is outside on my seven and a half inch wrist and as you can see the light, the outside light's really picking up the colors nicely. If you look at the top 120th bezel, you can see the blue and the green. You can see the green attachmeter. If you look down the corner, you can actually see the checkered flag dial. Uh, it's really good looking blue on this watch. So another one of these features is actually you could kind of see, I got in some light. You can kind of see where it's loomed. Which is kind of cool oh 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 there we go there's a loom shot there's a loom see the small seconds and it might be hard to pick up here on camera i'm going to try to see if i can hit you can see it just right here on the edge the dot the, the dial is checkered you can see some down here the dial is checkered like a race flag very cool it is obviously solar powered and it's kind of got a a unique uh number setup so there's no numbers here first number you two four eight and ten in that kind of hollow number open number styling that you see on race cars so yeah very cool crown's kind of unique with like maybe a little racing stripe or something in the middle there very good looking though oh, there you can kind of see down here in the corner, you can see the dial is checkered like a racing flag. Hey guys, thanks for checking in. If you like this type of content, like and subscribe, leave a comment down below. And as always, 
Rock that watch.